All right, guys. This is a 2019 6.7, clearly labeled on the door. And this is the high idle switch from BD Diesel. Came in a nice little box. Comes with some stuff. Comes with the manufacturer's opinion. And uh, that's pretty much it. The unit itself is, implies, pretty nice. It's got a nice connector on it. It's got a nice dial. Here, click on and off. Real easy to put in. The reason I went with this one was a simple plug and play. So if I wanted to take it back out of the truck, it wasn't a big deal. And it could hide the harness pretty easy. Unlike the rest of my problems I have going on right now, I still need to deal with. But in order to get this in here, even easier, I'll try and do this all one-handed. As you reach back here, your little kicker panel, it just pops right out. That over yonder. And then you're going to want to find these little pigtails. Hopefully this video is not too dark. We're going to follow that up here to this connector. Push the little button down. Wherever it's at, there it is. Unplug it. It looks just like that. Yeah. Anyways. Throw it in your glove box or something. Because that's where this plugs into. I'll see. If I'm able to plug this in one handed. Or if I'm going to waste too much time trying to do it. Yep, not going to waste that much time. Hold on. Okay, we're back. You can see here, plugged in. And now we can do a quick test. Make sure it works before we plumb all the harness over the other side of the truck. In order to make it work, you gotta put your e-brake down. Just a touch. Start the truck. And you'll see brake lights on. It doesn't have to be all the way down, like I said. You just click it on. You'll see the RPMs change. No foot on the pedal. If you want to turn it down, just click it back to stock. And that's it. Now as far as running this dude through there, I pulled this panel off. Just popped off. Took a piece of baling wire. Ran it through right there. Now I'm gonna feed it just past that one little spot. Hopefully it stays here. Run the other side of the truck. Wife got home. Let's see if this thing will come through here. There's the wire. I don't want to force it too much. And you kind of want to feel it. If you can guide it at all. This is going to be a two-hand job. Okay, coming back. Went back to the other side and got it lined up a little better. Let's see if it comes through here now. There it is. Just like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run this up into here. And for my ELD, 
I already had to cut out a little notch. So I think I'm gonna mount it just right here, out of the way. That'll be a good spot. All right, there's the finished product. Mount in there securely. It's in the off position. You can hear it click on, click off. They do give you this little sticker. Oh, it's upside down. Kind of like a little meter thing, and I guess to show off their name. But uh, I decided I didn't need that. I like the way it looks better, just as a switch. And all I did here was just grab the dash down here, popped it off, ran the cable up there, drilled the hole, and little Allen wrench takes that knob off. Uh, he didn't use the washer because the plastic up here is kind of thick. And I like where it's at because it's out of access to any passengers and very easily accessible for the driver. And you can't see it from here, so it looks good. Anyways, that's the end of it. it all I gotta do is just tuck that back up in there and get it secured and put the panel back on floor mat back in and this job is done so if you have any questions leave them in the comments have a good one